Today, I'm going to give you the best controller settings for X Defiant and the best gameplay settings that will make your experience a lot better. All right, so just to clarify, I'm playing on a controller, but we're going to be taking a look at gameplay UI settings. So first, we're going to start over here. Uh, my field of view, I have it maxed out. I mean, a larger field of view allows you to see more around the character, which is super important. If you have it any lower, or you're basically going to be playing like you would on like an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One or something, you want a higher field of view if you want to see more around you. If you don't, then, well, uh, you know, you're kind of a psychopath. Now, ADS field of view. This is basically like effective versus independent and Call of Duty consistent basically allows you to see more around your gun while your ADS independent zooms your gun in more so I like to keep it a consistent ADS behavior is at hold your ADS sensitivity transition is instant to make it a little bit smoother uh, I don't have this one mainly during ADS that's just weird I, I, don't, I, I don't I don't see a point in that a aiming interrupts reload uh yeah this is good for the people that like to reload cancel like you could in Call of Duties and stuff for some reason they took that out of Modern Warfare 2 we've got crouch behavior to hold I personally do not like toggle I personally like hold a little bit more for sprint behavior you're going to want to set it to tap that way you can transition to that sprint a lot smoother uh, for your auto sprint and they do have an auto sprint feature in this game you can set it to yes i personally have it set to yes that way i don't destroy my left thumbstick constantly trying to you know push it in to run so i have it set to yes same for keyboard and mouse players so you don't have to mash shift over and over and over auto sprint threshold um this is basically like another form of stick drift in a way percentage of stick input to trigger auto sprint i mean this is all just up to how much stick drift i guess you have with your controller me personally i don't really have that much of any at all except on my right stick then we've got sprint to interrupt reload i mean this is truly up to you i have it set to no because I, I don't know it feels easy to trigger sprint in this game i'm gonna try both settings this is personal preference uh slide behavior this is going to be set to tap so you can transition into that slide easier i think i said that for sprint behavior by accident earlier i meant to say slide behavior uh but this will make transitioning into that slide a lot easier auto reload weapon and switch weapon yeah auto grab ledge some people have this set to yes some people have this to no i think it just comes down to personal preference sometimes you just don't want to grab that ledge so i have it to no uh walk behavior no don't see a point in using that and then adjusting your hud elements this is actually something i learned about earlier today you can scoot your elements in because you can you can make them shorter you know cleaner um easier to see and whatnot but apparently from what i hear if you do this some of the other hud elements like the mini map and stuff will overlap other ui elements i heard that from another person that's been doing this kind of content too but we've got challenge notifications i mean yeah you want this on so you can get your you <laughs> like when you complete a challenge with the notifications for that distance units for some reason they have an option for yards versus meters so if you're that specific i mean more power to you and then we got all these other settings fps ping network performance damage numbers enemy health bars lock mini wrap rotation i feel like if you do this you might just be a different level of psychopath that i can't understand next we're gonna go over to the controller settings i'm gonna keep it a buck i haven't changed much with these but this is currently what i use and if there's something better let me know obviously we've got our default layout for our buttons and our sticks i, don't, I use a battle before controller that has extra buttons on the underside that do extra things that i like to do so i haven't changed any of these aim assist obviously on aim assist strength you can lower it or increase it all the way up to zero i have it maxed out to where it's supposed to be aim response curve time i have yet to test these actually but i have mine sets of standard and i haven't had too many problems my ads sensitivity is set currently to 1.0 but i think i'm gonna lower it to about 0.95 it feels just a little too quick sometimes don't have either of my axes inverted my horizontal my horizontal sensitivity and my vertical sensitivities are set to 32 a piece uh this is all personal preference this just feels right for me personally. Oh, uh, we've got our acceleration speed multiplier. This is just what the default setting is. I'm not gonna be that YouTuber that tells you to set it to this. This is what the default is. I haven't changed it, feels fine. I'm pretty certain these are also the defaults for the dead zones. Uh, I don't have too much stick drift of any at all, so I haven't really messed with these yet. And controller vibration is off because vibration is not good for your hands so that's gonna be it guys it's a good little minor guide on the gameplay and ui and controller settings that i personally use for my experience with x defiant if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like on it sub to the channel and let me know if you want me to do a video on graphics the only reason i didn't include that is because everybody's machine is completely different and there are about a thousand different youtube videos already out there for graphic settings and stuff but if you would like to see what mines are which i personally got from other youtubers and just kind of messed around with things here and there let me know in the comments and this has been jay the gamer i'll see you later peace